asking us to do in this question, all right, Keith, that folder needs to remain closed. What they're asking us in this is that uh, what is, um, is, if we plot these points, is that going to create a scalene, an equilateral, all right, or a uh, isosceles triangle? So remember, equilateral is when all three measurements are exactly the same. Isosceles is when we have two equal sides. And scalene is when we have three. So what we need to do, ladies and gentlemen, is one, we can look at this and plot, plot what it's going to look like. So if I plot my points, all right, thank you very much, good job. Negative 5 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then up 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that is going to be x. Um, then I have y, which is 2, 1, up 1. And then I have z, which is negative 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, positive 3. All right? Now, it might look to you like, hey, you know, this looks like a scalene. But ladies and gentlemen, if, you don't, if we can't prove it's a scalene, we have to be able to pur purposely know exactly what the distance is between each point. Unfortunately, none of these are on the same line, or are, none of these are on the same, like a horizontal or vertical line. So I simply just can't add the distance away from each other. So what is the only other, re other way we found how to find the distance between two points? Applying the distance formula. So I'm going to have to do that for each one of these. So to find, I didn't teach you the distance formula? No. So let me go back over it again, the distance formula. The distance formula equals the square root of x, of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. OK? Yeah, it's a y squared. Go back that one, please. Go through that way. Y1. So if I want to find the distance of x and y, I just need to determine which is going to be my x1, which is going to be my x2. <clears throat> so this would be the square root of negative 5 minus 2 squared plus 9 minus 1 squared. I'm just going to do all of these right now, just so you guys can see. What about if I have to do yz? yz is going to be 2 minus negative 8 squared, and then plus 1 minus 3 squared. And then what about zx? If I did zx, I'm going to subtract the z's from the x, so it would be negative 8 minus 5 squared plus um, 3 minus 9. You guys need to be able to see the difference between each one of these. All right, if you need me to take something away, I'll be more than happy to do it. But as far as just writing down this problem, that's exactly what you should be most concerned with. So ladies and gentlemen, again, I have to apply the distance formula for each one of these problems. Now, to kind of keep this a little bit short, I'm just going to kind of do a little bit of mental math for you. Here, I have negative 5 minus 2, which would be negative 7. Negative 7 squared is 49. But it's squared, so it's going to turn positive. And then 9 minus 1 is 8. 8 squared is 64. Okay. Now, 64 plus 49 is going to be 113. So that's the distance of one of my sides, is the square root of 113. Let's go to the next one. 2 minus 8, or 2 minus a negative 8 is 10. 10 squared is 100. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4. So 100 plus 4 is 104. Okay, I'm not going to simplify these. I'm just going to be worried about right now, David, is you writing them down to be able to determine, are they equal? So, so far, do we have any sides that are equal to each other? No. So it's really going to depend on this third side if we have a, um, a scalene, isosceles, or, an e or not. we know it's not going to be an equilateral. So therefore, I have negative 8 minus 5, which is a negative 13. Negative 13 squared is 169. 3 minus 9 is going to be a negative 6. Negative 6 squared is 36. So that's going to be the square root of 20, um, 205, right? 
So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, we can now confirm with conviction, not just assuming what my graph looked like, but I can now confirm that these three sides of this triangle are not equal to each other. Therefore, this is scalene. Okay. So good job for those of you um, that wrote that down. That is question number four on your test.